So the wife's been on me for a while to clean the bathroom. Rightfully so, because it's a, it's a fucking shithole. Literally. <laughs> Anyhow, the problem is, we have three fucking women in this house, right? Three women that have three things of hair products that all wear contacts, so then you have all fucking eyeglasses shit, you have contact shit, you have three... So, I'm cleaning the bathroom the only way that fucking I know possible. I'm taking fucking everything out. Wow, that's... And I haven't even wiped it down yet. It's just shit's out. Right? So, so, so far, I only have that up there for me. Right? But we got first aid kits that go back to fucking when everybody was tiny. It, it's ridiculous. But this... W wait till you see this. This is what living with fucking three women is like. Now, granted, there's still quite a bit of this stuff. That is actually, you know, mine. And in the first aid kits especially. But we don't need like four different things of NyQuil. Or five. who the fuck? Wait till you see this shit. And I always get fucking in trouble for not cleaning the bathroom, right? And I'm like, I can't clean it because I don't know where fucking anything goes. And I'm like, you guys need to go through this shit and get rid of shit. I'm like, it's fucking ridiculous. Our bathroom is not that fucking big, right? our bathroom, right? Nice bathroom, not that big. You get a couple cubby holes here, you should put extra toilet paper in there, under there, I haven't even fucking gone under there yet, right? And then, and then we got this for hand towels, and up there we'd have first aid kits and fucking all that bullshit in the medicine cabinet. It, this is fucking, look at this shit. So everything you see here, look at all this shit, right? All this fucking shit was filling up all of our fucking cabinets, stacked to the max, spilling the fuck out, okay? Shit's being collected in dust because nothing can be in the fucking cabinets. And, and, and don't forget that box, right? The fucking, oh, feminist, what, what, almost an hour to get all this shit out of the fucking bathroom so everybody can go through it i mean seriously how's a guy that doesn't wear glasses and contacts supposed to know all these fucking things who belongs to who what belongs to who and what what the fuck seriously what the fuck you, you gotta see this I, I gotta try to get this in the light can you see all that fucking dust on this fucking thing? That's because this couldn't even be in a cabinet. And it was on the... What the fuck? Look! It's growing fucking hair! Dude, if you haven't used it in this motherfucking long, you don't fucking need it! It's never even been opened! What the fuck are we saving it for? Let's dive into chapter two, shall we? Here we go. We're going in. Now, motherfucker, what the fuck is a guy supposed to do with all this shit? Right? I know what to fucking keep and throw away. Are you fucking shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me? There is zero fucking way I can fucking do it. I've been telling him fucking this. You gotta go through your shit. What the fuck am I, a fucking mind reader? No. So here we are. Day two. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I have been going straight at this since I dropped Logan off at school this morning at 8.30. So even if we round it up till 9 o'clock, right? It's 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever, four and a half fucking hours, I don't know. I'm not doing that. And I still ain't done. What the fuck? Dude, this place is fucking nut. Medicine cab. Don't look at my bald spot back there. Yep, that's that's hereditary. Whatever. The medicine cab. Fucking brand. Fucking new man. Cleaned all the glass shells. Yahtzee. Look at that. Just when you didn't think. Yep, there's fucking two of me.